Hey there. Um, so I want to talk about something that's come up um, not only in some client sessions, but with some friends as well recently. Um, and it's okay. So I've talked about the tenets that I teach from the first being that your dominant thoughts are what create your reality. Um, I don't think this is a stretch for most people to understand that if you think about something a lot, that's what you end up creating um, because you take action toward it and you're thinking about it. So you might as well do something about it. I think that's sort of the human condition. The second piece though, is this idea of personal responsibility. And I keep thinking, I need to come up with a different word than responsibility because responsibility sounds like a negative thing, but it's actually positive. It's an empowering piece that says you are the one that creates what's in your life. And if that's true, then you can uncreate what you don't want and create what you do want. That is empowering. But when you use the word responsibility, I think it seems like it's not empowering. It's like responsible. <laughs> it seems negative and maybe has some energy on it or it's heavy or whatever. Um, and often what happens is people go to shame or blame or I should have or I should know better, you know, than to have these emotions and these feelings and be in reaction to them. And what I want to say is you want to have those emotions like our society has spent so much time trying to get us to not feel things. I want you to feel all the things. In fact, when I'm working with people, especially people who have health issues, um, you may not know this, but I do um, help people that have um, cancer and some other diseases. And I do that because um, of my belief of where they come from. And it's from these latent emotions that we haven't been able to express. So we're holding them in our body and our body is saying, I don't want this thing and let me create a disease around it so that I um, can get your attention that there's something else going on here. I don't know if that made any sense. I do believe that we are three parts equally, mind, body, and spirit. Um, there are other words for these things, emotion, whatever. Um, but the, those are the words that I use. Um, use whatever words work for you. And when we are out of balance, um, in certain areas, then we create disease and disease is the last stop in my estimation, because we can disregard spirit. We can disregard the mental, uh, side of things and, you know, cover them up with all kinds of things, drugs and alcohol and gambling and sex and media and all the things. Um, but we can't ignore the body when it's going that hurts, right? Ow, that hurts, or something's definitely wrong, not functioning properly. So that is why the body is last stop, because you can no longer bury that. You're like, oh my gosh. And when you do, you know, that's when you hear those stories of people who have late stage cancers. I mean, some late, some cancers, uh, like pancreatic cancer, for example, um, the symptoms are regular things that, you know, a backache and that sort of thing, which is, you know, kind of common uh, symptoms. So you wouldn't think there's anything really up. Um, but most diseases, um, I believe, are emotions that are held in. So I'm giving you free reign to have all your emotions. And I mean, don't wallow in them. Have them experience them, be in wonder and curiosity about them, because every time you allow them to happen, you move toward the state of being in which you would like to be in. That's how powerful this is. So this personal responsibility often for people will show up as shame, blame, but actually it's not that. It's I don't like what I've got going on in my life. I'm going to uncreate it. And how we uncreate it is to sit in those emotions and allow them to happen. And as we sit in them, that is the healing process. We heal in those moments that feel not so good most of the time. And, and then as we just allow them to happen, they have less energy each time. And we start to go towards, sometimes very slowly, towards the way that we want to be. But that's really how that healing process works. I hope that makes sense to you. 
when you have the emotions, do allow yourself to have them so they don't, you know, manifest in your body in different ways. Um, you know, cry if you need to or get angry. You can apologize later. I'm not saying be a jerk. I'm just saying don't cover up your emotions anymore. It's not necessary and it actually can be harmful to your body. I hope this is helpful. Much love. Be kind and gentle to yourself. You are working through some really great stuff on your way to, you know, joy. Um, and that can be challenging because, you know, we have all these ideas about what that might look like. And maybe it's not possible in our minds, but it is. I'm here to tell you it is. You can be in joy now. Much love. Peace.